Welcome back to another vlog. This was a really, really exciting day, so I was very, very keen to film it so that I could remember. Um, my best friend, who I haven't seen since August of 2020 because of COVID, um, came to London and she surprised me. She sent me a message on Sunday saying that she would be in London the following day. Um, so we spent the entire afternoon together just essentially walking around central London. We went past various theatres and we popped into a hotel in Soho to have um, afternoon tea and some scones and it was just really, really lovely. During lockdown, I did a lot of walking around London just for the sake of walking, as in I wasn't going anywhere or I didn't have any plans. I was just taking myself on a walk. And I sometimes forget how absolutely gorgeous London is and how lucky I am to live here. We walked around Central and just found little pubs and an independent little bookshop. And we were also really lucky to catch a gorgeous sunset and it just makes my heart so full. I just absolutely love London and sometimes I forget how gorgeous the city really is because when I go on walks I'm always rushing to get somewhere on time. To be fair I'm never ever ever late so that's that's not really true but I am rushing to kind of go somewhere. I'm walking with a purpose. I'm not just kind of strolling around and just kind of enjoying the view around me so it was really lovely to do that with Federica. Federica and Morris dropped me off at the Phoenix Theatre, which is where Come From Away is currently playing. I do not believe I've ever been to this theatre before. It was absolutely gorgeous and the show was... I will save my thoughts for the end of this video, <laughs> but stay tuned to hear what I thought about the show.
Hello? Uh, I feel like yesterday I did a very poor job of vlogging because I took my camera out and filmed stuff but there was no context to anything. <laughs> uh, yesterday was an amazing day. My One of my best friends who I haven't seen since I want to say like the start of COVID, like I haven't seen her since end of 2020. Yeah, like August 2020, I think I haven't seen her since then. Um, she surprised me, sent me a text on Sunday saying I'm coming to London <laughs> tomorrow. Um, so I saw her yesterday and that was just absolutely amazing. Uh, we went for tea and scones and just walked around um, kind of like Piccadilly, central London, like the Piccadilly Circus area. Um, and it was, yeah, it was just such a lovely afternoon that we spent together. And then in the evening, I went to see Come From Away and I had booked this a few weeks ago. So it wasn't something I had booked like, you know, well in advance, but I've been wanting to see Come From Away for a really long time. Everyone talks about it. It's won a lot of awards. There's a lot of buzz around it. I didn't really know what to expect, but I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I thought the staging, there isn't really very much choreography, it's more staging. And I thought the staging was absolutely fantastic. Every single cast member was spectacular. I couldn't fault anyone. Um, and I'm quite critical when I go to see um, shows. And I thought everyone was absolutely fantastic, musically as well, like the songs, the musicians, um, vocally the actors were superb and the story was really 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 beautiful so for those of you who don't know Come From Away is based off of I think it's based off of real um, real life stories so there are multiple different characters in the show and each kind of individual story is based off of someone who's who actually went through that and basically it's the story of a plane that gets diverted during 9-11. Um, so US airspace closed down um, when the Twin Towers were hit and flights were diverted. And one, one of these flights was diverted to a town in Canada, I believe called Gandor. I think I'm saying that right. Um, like very, very small town, like no one really knows of it. and the show come from away is the story of these passengers that are sat on this plane kind of waiting they don't really know what's happened at this point they don't have access to the news and um the townspeople and how these townspeople kind of go above and beyond to like welcome these people into their homes essentially and into their town and make them feel um you know as safe and secure as they can given you know the horrific situation that um that everyone's kind of grappling with so it was really really well done i also really like the fact that it didn't feel like kind of like propaganda or anything like that it was just like strictly the stories of these individuals and the kind of um the beauty of like people just kind of opening their arms and going above and beyond to help strangers like people that they don't know at all um so it was really really amazing and a plus about this show is there is no interval and so you sit down you watch the entire show and then you leave which i really really love because all the, as much as i love ice cream during the interval I also get really antsy because I just enjoy this, the show so much, I don't need a break from it. And I understand that in longer shows, actors do need a break and they need to sit down and maybe have something quick to eat, you know, hydrate a little bit more than just like running on and off stage having a sip of water. So I understand that, but I really did enjoy, you know, just sitting down, watching the show and then leaving. And it also meant home that I got, it meant that I got home. Why can't I speak today? It meant that I got home at um, 10 instead of 11.30. <laughs> um, so that was really, really good. But if you haven't seen Come From Away, I really, really recommend that you go see it. I thought it was phenomenal. I would happily go again. I really enjoyed it. I thought the music was great. Everything was great. Like I cannot fault that show. Um, so yeah, I've had a very, very long day so far. I have been sat at my desk from 7.30. It's now 1.30. This is the first time that I've had a break and I've been able to get up and like not stare at my screen although I'm staring at a screen right now. I'm staring at a camera, it's fine. Um, and I'm just making another coffee. 
and then I have a bunch of work that I need to get through. I also have to um, do some singing practice because I have my first singing lesson tomorrow with a new teacher. So the teacher that I had previous, like, previously done two singing lessons with, who was incredible, um, she's going into a show in like three weeks. So she's not doing any sort of voice coaching moving forwards. And I really like continuity. So one of the girls in my musical theatre course, Cecile, who's so lovely, she recommended her teacher. So I have my first session with her tomorrow. And she's asked me to prepare a song that I can sing from start to finish just so that she can get a sense of my range, where my voice is at, um, things that I struggle with, posture, like all that stuff. Um, so I'm gonna practice a little. Um, I was gonna sing, she used to, be, she used to be mine. I don't know why I got confused. She used to be mine from Waitress. Um, but I don't really know that song very well. Like I can sing it if I'm staring at the lyrics. Um, but there are parts towards the end that I, I'm, I'm not very comfortable with. Like I don't really know. So I think I'm just gonna do it on my own because I prepared that song to perform it in front of my musical theater group. And that song, the end bit is really difficult for me in terms of like range and breath work and stuff. So I wanna make sure that I don't pick a song that I find really easy. I wanna pick a song that the issues that I'm struggling with, like placement of my voice, range, like hitting, you know, like getting to that higher register comfortably and like hitting those notes that Rachel, my voice teacher, is able to kind of see that and then help me because she's seen like the issues that I have. Um, so I need to do that as well. And then tonight I'm going for dinner. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Um, so it's a very, very busy day. It's a very, very nonstop day, but I just wanted to give my thoughts about Come From Away and then kind of give context to yesterday's um, footage that I filmed, which was essentially me and Federica, my best friend Federica, just walking around London and me just kind of like taking snippets of, you know, things that we saw. Um, but yeah, um, if you have stayed, till the end of this video thank you for watching um it really really means a lot to me if you've liked this video if you've enjoyed it then please feel free to give it a like leave me a comment i absolutely love when i get comments it just makes me so happy it makes my heart feel really really full um so if you can leave a comment please do and i will see you next time bye